Pat, so let's jump on and talk a little bit about an IBM announcement. This one should move a little bit more quickly, but you know, I don't know if you saw what's going on with Clorox. I don't know if you're paying attention to the continuous stresses and pressures of the Gen AI data leaks breaches have and the impact they have to companies. But one of the things IBM has been doing, you know, and I'll say it somewhat quietly, while it's been really busy with its AI and hybrid cloud story, it also has built a very compelling security story. And with its growth in observability, its growth in log and, and ITSM, uh, you know, IBM is building products and services that are going to help companies more quickly deal with the rapid threat. It's not if you're going to get breached, it's when you're going to get breached. And so most, while, you're, while we're moving to zero trust, architectures are trying to figure out how do you manage more responses to more threats more quickly and, and reduce risk. So IBM is pushing its AI story. It's going AI powered with its threat detection with the goal of basically being able to alleviate about 85% of alerts and doing them completely automatic, completely with AI. 24 by seven monitoring. Um, and you know, basically being able to layer this on top of our uh, on top of the existing tools that companies are using. Pat, to me, it's a pretty straightforward. Um, play. It's a it's a show of force around AI being used for a very practical application. It's focusing on one of the uh, surfaces that companies aren't thinking as much about right now with AI. Companies are all about how do we get more productive? How do we push forward the the you know the AI for generative and, and efficiencies? But keeping your data safe is going to be one of the wars that we're going to uh, have to wage for enterprises to maintain their shareholder value. And and the last thought on that is. If you actually recall, last week we talked about uh, IBM taking on legal and ethical responsibilities with its partners and its generative platforms. Well, you know, security is going to be a, another frontier that I think there could start to see more outcome as a service type of capabilities where companies are going to have to start almost guaranteeing no breaches when you make the big investments. I'm not saying that's what IBM is doing. I'm just making that suggestion. But IBM's really ramped up its observability. It's uh, SIM uh, technologies, you're seeing it here. Uh, this is a start of how AI can be layered onto traditional uh, cybersecurity to add more value. Was that fast enough? That was, oh, by the way, I know you feel like I talked a long time, it was like 90 seconds. Buddy, come on. Let's not bore our audience with, you know, our back and forths here. Let's just I think it's cute. That. I actually think it's charming. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, it was charming the first three times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that was charming. That was that was entertaining. So listen, 10 years ago, I predicted spy versus spy once AI uh, started to get in here. And, and this was the fundamental belief that uh, when we couldn't uh, respond, humans couldn't respond enough because uh, the hackers had nation state budgets. Uh, you saw hacking as a service come up, which really means in any market that it's become prime time. And, and here we are, right? IBM is taking advantage of, of this spy versus spy, right? They're the spy on the good side that, that not only says, um, I can not only tell you with a higher degree of certainty when there's something uh, that, that's wrong, but I can also r remediate it uh, pretty quickly. Now, over time, each side is going to get smarter. Generative AI has become a boon for uh, hackers, and it will become a boom for the defenders. And IBM is one of the top five security companies out there, and they're primarily securing uh, the critical uh, infrastructure, the critical software, and the critical data for financial institutions, uh, for healthcare, uh, for retailers. And this is just you know, another raising the bar here. IBM is very skilled at AI. Uh, they were one of the first to go GA with generative AI uh, from an enterprise point of view. They were quite frankly early when Watson first came out, I think nearly 10 years ago. Uh, they were probably too early and they didn't have machine learning and they were using analytics, but IBM is a force and you need to check uh, them out if you want to uh, protect anything that's critical.